to ensure we've got space to penetrate through onto the other side we set a 2.4 millimeter gap we're using 130 amps that's quite low for saying we're working on 8 mil steel but that's to ensure that we've got proper control over this route all the way through as you can see on the screen now because we've got that 2.4 millimeter gap in there that's going to allow us to achieve penetration onto the opposite side so we're keeping our tungsten sharp and close at all times and we're dipping with mild steel 1.6 millimeter wire you can use 2.4 for this because we're trying to maintain control of this at all times i'm using the 1.6 to control how much wire goes into that pool to make sure the route is consistent throughout Another thing when completing a corner joint is that you've got to be extremely careful to set up your joint correctly. If you want a 90 degree corner joint you've got to make sure that you put sufficient tacks on there to hold it in place because when welding a corner joint we're putting a lot of metal onto the top of that plate so naturally as we're heating it and it cools down it's going to want to pull that way. So we have to take action and make sure that doesn't happen so it doesn't distort too much. So all we've done on this first run as you can see is put a root run in. The route runs nice and consistent and because we haven't put too much heat in and lowered them amps we've not distorted the plate. So we're now on the second run which is known as a filler pass. So all we're doing here is dipping both sides and also make sure that we're fusing into both edges of that plate. We turn the amps up 15 amps to 145 but this run sets us up for the cap run so we have to go just before flush which then gives us a nice flat base to put our capping run on which we can see on the third run and the final run now. There's multiple techniques you can use for this. You can either walk the cup or do it freehand like you can see on the screen now. Me personally I prefer to do it freehand. I feel like I have a lot more control where I put the heat into the plate and I did notice over time because I used to walk the cup all the time that I was getting a bad wrist. I don't know if that's just me. Let us know in the comments down below but my personal preference now is to freehand and I do find that you need a lot of skill to be able to control this art freehand all the way down nothing against people who do walk the cup but what you do need to remember is it's not always possible to walk the cup so if you can do it freehand and walk the cup even better and just a couple more points we are welding this at a 45 degree angle so you can see that tungsten it's nice and consistent at 45 degrees all the way down and we're able to see both edges when we're welding so here are some techniques when you're welding fixed steel but when you're welding finished of steel your technique has got to slightly change and the video you can see on the screen now is going to show you exactly how to do that we'll see you over there no, no, no.